system the federal government uses for people receiving SNAP benefits to purchase groceries was down for a couple of hours today. The importance of this assistance is crucial to many families, especially... that program site okay and I did not find anything uh, that address the power outages of the snap program Or COLA. This is an annual bump in benefits designed to help your monthly checks maintain their buying power as inflation naturally rises over time. When inflation is rising faster than average, though, retirees can expect larger COLAs. In general, an average COLA will fall around 2% to 4% per year. This year, seniors received a whopping 5.9% COLA as inflation began to surge. And in 2023, the raise is almost guaranteed to be even bigger. Nobody knows exactly what the COLA for 2023 will be just yet, as the Social Security Administration won't release the official number until October. But a recent report from nonprofit advocacy group, the Senior Citizens League, projects that it could fall around 9.6% based on the latest inflation data. That number also assumes that inflation will remain relatively stagnant throughout the rest of the year. If inflation increases, the COLA for 2023 could potentially be as high as 10.1%, according to the report. Either way, next year's COLA could be the highest in more than four decades. The average retiree for, for essentially this entire mathematical adjustment as to how much benefits you're gonna get. So all the prior months, they don't matter. The months after that, they don't matter unless we're doing an analysis based off of what we think is going to happen. All right, let's keep rolling through this. As you know, uh, the CPI-W is the index that they use. They're trying to switch it over to the CPI-E, uh, which is the index, you know, basically that's used for the elderly. So called the Social Security 2100 Act. I think it's 2100 Act. Uh, this is now being held up by one of the most prominent Democrats in our country. Uh, that is one Senator Nancy Patricia Pelosi uh, out of here in California. Now, in short, the Social Security 2100 Act would do a variety of things to update the New Deal age Social Security program. So it's kind of a different approach to the same problem that, uh, that we just talked about. But for one, it would increase all Social Security checks for all Americans receiving them by at least 2%, uh, regardless of how much they're actually making. So that is a noticeable increase. Act, ...which would expand benefits by $200 per month for any recipients as senior citizens grapple with growing inflation. This would be on top of the COLA raise, the cost of living adjustments, so be in addition. This is a bill that has been introduced by uh, Democratic Representatives Peter DeFazio from Oregon and Senator Bernie Sanders, independent from Vermont. The bill would amount to a roughly 12% boost for the typical senior, amounting to an average $1,658 check. Again, that's the average amount based on what the average person gets, so kind of disregard that. And a $2,400 annual increase, that is the more better number to look at because it's a $200 per month increase uh, by Senator Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders says, quote, at a time when half of older Americans have no retirement savings and millions of senior citizens are living in poverty, our job is not to cut Social Security. Our job must be to expand Social Security so that every senior citizen in America can retire with dignity, 
they deserve and every person with a disability can live with the security they need. To fund this, the Social Security Expansion Act would lift the income cap for payroll taxes. This means that income, high income earners that earn above $250,000 would start paying into Social Security again. This is because people stop paying into Social Security once they make over $147,000, okay? So this means that people that make like a million dollars a year or $2 million a year or $50 million a year or a billion dollars a year, they only pay Social Security payroll tax up to $147,000 and no more, no matter if they make a million dollars a year or $10 million a year or a billion dollars a year, okay? This new bill would make them pay Social Security tax on everything over $250,000, okay? So they would pay in the Social At the USDA site, the Food and Nutrition Service, U.S. Department of Agricultural site, this is where you will note a lot of the programs. Uh, if you're um, if you're low income or you're near the poverty level, uh, these are federal programs that end up uh, sending monies to the state. Um, so here's a list of many of the programs. So I'll leave a link for you uh, for this site. 